As a wine aficionado, you surely have heard the term tejua and have been told that it makes every wine unique. But what exactly is tejua and is it real or is it just a marketing tool? What is tejua? The term tejua comes from French and there is no precise translation for this word. Blé de la blé de blou blé blé. <laughs> The best equivalent that we have in English that captures the meaning of terroir is either a sense of place or somewhereness. It means the sum of growing conditions that are specific to a vineyard that influence the style and the quality of the wine produced there. Terroir composition. Terroir is composed of every environmental factor on a given piece of ground, including soil, subsoil, altitude, slope, orientation to the sun and every nuance of the climate. Temperature, sunshine, rainfall, frequency of fog, wind velocity and much more. <laughs> Are you serious? It explains why there can be loads of differences between two vineyard sites that are near one another, each producing very different wines even if they're made from the exact same grape variety. For example, if the vines are grown at the top or the bottom of the hill, the wine is not the same. It's like for English roses, some gardens produce better ones than others, so even your own garden has its own terroir. New world versus old world. Terroir is a very important factor for wines made in the old world. It is where terroir is the key consideration of the winemaker and it is believed that the wine is influenced more by the terroir than the grape variety. And so wines tend to be named after the region in which they are produced rather than the grape variety. For example, Chablis, Chateauneuf-de-Pape, Barolo, Chianti or Rioja. In the New World, however, winemakers would argue that it doesn't matter where the wine comes from and that so is just a medium in which the fruit grows it is the great variety that really counts. In those regions, wines will typically be named after the great variety. For example, Chardonnay, Chenin Blanc, Grenache, Shiraz or Merlot. Today, the two sides are coming together with the new world emphasizing the regional character of the wine and some modern producers in the old world putting great varieties on the label. Is terroir fake? The concept of terroir is not without a debate. Some argue that its influence is overstated and that it is a myth promoted by wine writers or cynical marketing reps trying to distinguish the wines from those of the competition. My terroir brings all the boys to the yard and they like it's better than yours and damn right it's better than yours I can teach you but I have to judge. The truth is there is no definitive research that proves terroir to be fake, quite the contrary. However, the debate arises when trying to quantify and precisely define the extent of terroir's impact on the style and quality of wine compared to other factors, such as winemaking techniques, great variety or vintage conditions. I suppose the only sure way to know the impact of terroir is to bring in compare loads of different wines from different terroirs. I'm up for that. Sometimes I tell myself, Lisa, you have to stop drinking. Thank God my name ain't Lisa. That's it for today, guys. I hope you found the episode useful. If you did, please hit the like button and make sure that you subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye. It means the sum of growing conditions specific to a vineyard that influence the style and the quali quality. 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 <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Temperature, sunshine, frequency of fog. Blah. In the new world, however, wine workers wine work. The new world. Zapowietrzyła się kobieta. <laughs>